Hey, g'day. Today I'm adding some rocks to my rock garden out the front. This is a piece of wilo agate. Um, all these rocks have been cut and then rather than polish them, I've just put some automotive clear on them, some clear lacquer. This is a piece of brecciated something, ironstone maybe. I found this on my recent trip to Norseman. This here is a quarter of a septaria nodule. Isn't that amazing? Again, all clear coated. Now this one here, this is a piece of dendritic opalite. Um, I'm not sure which is the best surface. It's glossy even without the clear coat. And this last one, this is a piece of agaty sort of opalite mix that I picked up from the Borough Rock Road. Again, near Norseman, just recently. Big chunk, isn't it? Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. I make videos on all things rock related from collecting to cutting and polishing, along with helpful hints. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing as well as liking, sharing and commenting to help me build my channel. Thank you. All right, firstly, this piece of Wailu agate. I recently moved a piece from the rock garden um, to cut up right near this concrete goanna here. So I think I'll fill up that gap with the Wailu agate. It's a new part, it's shaped like an egg. Um, yes, we'll put it in there. A little bit of a shadow. I want the sun to hit it. That'll do. Yeah. Now, who's next? Oh. What about dendritic opalite? Where can he go? There's not many gaps. <laughs> um, <laughs> I might have to remove some of these big ugly ones. There's a little chert in here. Um, try and cover that bit of chert maybe. Mm, yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of those big chunks of chert that we just use for fillers. Well, I'm going to remove some of them. Septarian nodule. Looks nice. I want it to be noticed. I want it to be noticed. Yeah, <laughs> I really need to move some bits around, that's for sure. Did I get notice there? No, did a crazy lace. Wasn't his best side showing. There we go, that's better. What now? No, this piece of brush here. Where's he going? He's not so special. Digging up the back somewhere. And cover a bit of that chair again. A dirty old bit of chair there. Oh, look at this piece of uh, amethyst. Again, not showing his best side. And lastly, this agate opalite mix. Jeez, it's heavy. I might cut that into slabs one day, but until then, we can go out here hiding some of that chair. I think that'll do. Now, every serious rock collector knows you can't have a rock garden without watering it every now and then. It really brings out the colours of the rocks. This is good fun. And this is how they look wet. There's banded jaspers there. There is a dendritic opalite, nambam granite, mucite, print stone, some coral, fossilised coral. Uh, some quartz, pegmatite, all sorts of stuff. All guarded over by our guard frog. He protects everyone. A bit of a slow mo zoom out of the rock garden. And now, our trip to Boomerang Gorge. We're very lucky where we live. We're about five minutes away from Yanship National Park. It's a beautiful national park. This is um, Boomerang Gorge. It's a gorge now, but years ago, it was a huge limestone cave. It ran across from there, all the way across to there, for a few hundred metres in length. 
and then one day thousands of years ago it collapsed to form a gorge pretty interesting but all around the edges of the gorge there's caves there's over 400 caves in fact uh, throughout the ancient national park uh, this is one of the smaller ones the bigger ones you need it's like a, a tour you go on a tour you pay and a guide takes you through them and some of these smaller ones are just there to discover um, I've got a real attraction to caves I'm not sure why I just enjoy them and there's some real beauties I've been down this is just um, easy access uh, you don't need a torch or anything but some of them yeah you need a really good torch or a flashlight for you Americans <laughs> um, they're pitch black uh, See, this one actually has an almost hidden section. A lot of people don't know about it. Down here. I'm not getting in it today because my pants will get dirty. It's really dirty dust. Um, but yeah, that goes back a fair way. Not, not a lot of people know about it. Ah, here we go. Here's one of the locals. Looking for his mates. You don't see them much during the day. Sunset, sunrise, they're everywhere. There's hundreds and hundreds of them here at the National Park. Any radar ears. They spook fairly easily, as you can see. <laughs> they can get a bit of speed as well. Rocks, that's right. We want to talk about rocks, don't we? Well, they're in the wrong spot, really. The only rocks we get for probably about an hour's drive from where I live is this limestone. Um, oh, I guess it's interesting. It has these hollow sections that would have been tree roots at some stage. Um, but really, limestone is limestone. We get so much of it. It's a bit boring. You can't tumble polish it very well either. Plus, it's a national park, and I'll never take it anyway. But yeah, I just find this shape interesting. You probably wouldn't. <laughs> Another cave. Um, we got this path. Yeah, so all around the edges where it's collapsed, where this big dome cave has collapsed to form the the gorge. Are these caves so they fringe the whole outer perimeter uh, it's just a matter of discovering them finding them this one again nothing special but then i'm not prepared today to go caving i don't have a torch or flashlight with me um, yes yeah, so i'm just wandering around wasting a bit of time some nice views here well, another one of those limestone rocks I just find them interesting in shape, if nothing else. I mean, you can see right through. So yeah, I think these are from tree roots. Uh, and the trees would have grown above where the cave was, uh, and then the caves collapsed, leaving those limestone rocks. Okay, time to leave Boomerang Gorge and head for home. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a change from the usual stuff, but hey, you might like that. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.